Intelligent weapons, sensor systems, and network battlefields are the future for the United States military. And here at Fort Benning, we put these technologies to the test in order to aid in their development. Today, I'm taking a look at the Intelligent Munitions System, or IMS, which is a revolutionary new anti-vehicle weapon, which is currently being developed to support the Army's future combat system and the United States landmine policy. The future is here. The IMS is a powerful new weapon that's being developed in order to give our soldiers new modern tools to more effectively deter or destroy enemy vehicles and have more command and control on the battlefield. It's a major jump in technology. A single soldier with a laptop, computer, and a radio can engage a tank column, uh, uh, small trucks, you know, things like that. This is the first time anything's ever been done like this where you're trying to take sens a sensor suite and have it trigger on its own and have it being smart and be able to communicate back to a user. The intelligent munitions system is a force multiplier and will allow our troops to be more effective in theater. It will also give our soldiers a safe standoff distance to keep out of harm's way. What this system allows us to do is have the have our troops over a click away from this dispensing module which can engage vehicles and let them overwatch it. The user himself can fire the munitions on his own with the man in the loop feature. He can set them into a, an autonomous mode where they, if they get satisfied with the firing solution they will trigger and it just keeps our troops out of harm's way. And, you know, that's, our, that's our role, keep our troops alive. The IMS project is an impressive collaboration of engineering. It incorporates a whole range of modern technologies, and together they have to process various battlefield elements, effectively communicate with each other, and work accurately. When you roll it all together, it becomes extremely complex. You have acoustic seismic letting your system know, a comm system that's relaying to and from the dispensing module and the operator. Then you have a terminal sensor that has to discriminate from its surroundings, and you have wind, you can have trees blowing, and then you got to have a sublet that launches itself into the air, scans, be able to categorize, recognize, classify, and trigger on a moving object. Very challenging. The intelligent munition system also has anti-personnel grenades to protect it from enemy sappers. We have a anti-personnel protection mode where we can fire off miniature grenades to protect against sapper threats, people trying to clear out a, a uh, munition field. The infrastructure and elements in a city or town introduce a whole set of challenges when it comes to sensors and technologies. They have to be able to differentiate and discriminate between all the various elements in order to work properly. You know, you have uh, buildings, you have electrical, you have running water, you know, all this affects how, uh, you know, sensors pick up things, how uh, it's much different than an open rolling terrain. The intelligent munition system is another example of how engineers and technology help to pave the way to provide the latest and greatest tools for our soldiers to be safer, smarter, and more lethal while defending our freedoms. There's a lot of excitement and uh, you know it's going to be a great system. It's going to provide a new potential that uh, doesn't exist today. Get it baseline. Get our troops out of harm's way. That's first and foremost. Developing such a complex weapon like the Intelligent Munition System is quite the challenge, but these engineers are working around the clock in order to get the IMS out to our troops on the battlefield, because like they said, this will save the lives of American soldiers and innocent civilians, and at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. 